Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to American Falls by Lancey Boy. It's a day of celebration, dare I say. Dare I call it a day of celebration for a couple, two, three reasons. Actually, whatever, right? One, I've been in the Discord chat three days in a row. Okay, hello. Serious record for me. Uh, two, I've been called a Discord noob, which honestly is... Trust me, no shocker to me. Um, that's kind of a gimme. Three, um, rain pain has been enabled. So, really not entirely sure what that's all going to entail. But the rain pain mod has been added and good to go. And you know what? There's a fourth one. We are going to keep the field lease mod around for the time being. I see my time is incorrectly set once again. Dude is pretty Get it together, man. It's January 1st. You would think I could start the new year off with better than that. Field lease is going to stick around for the time being, at least. Now, something I that dawned on me after yesterday's episode, this is not a lease-to-own deal. This is a lease and then dissolve it. So... I kind of like that because I was feeling a little bit iffy on whether this thing was going to make life a little too easy. So I'm kind of glad it's not leased to own. So once we, if we decide to lease a field, we're going to pay the piper. We're going to put the, I guess, the initial lease value plus 2% or something like that for administrative fees. And you know, administrative fees in quotes is taking it, you know, someplace you don't want to take it because that's generally what administrative fees are. They're kind of like, eh, you know, we're just going to charge you this because we can and it's 100% profit. So too bad. Uh, yeah. So, well, so if we decide to lease something, a field, it's just lease either forever or dissolve the lease. I don't think there's a penalty from what I can tell. No penalty to dissolving the lease. However, all the money that you put into it is just bye bye in the wind. Kind of reminds me of leasing a car, right? You, you lease a car for the most part, you know, it's just bye bye at the end of the lease. I think so. I th I've only leased one. I think I've only leased one vehicle in my life. I did a two year lease on a Mazda 626. A Mazda 626. It was a good car. I had it for two years. Um, uh, I had zero problems with that car. Never, not even a tick, nothing. It was, it was a five speed manual. Oh, I miss manuals. I really, really do. And, um, it just ran like a clock, a good clock, <laughs> not a bad clock. And then, you know, at the end of the lease, I took it back and the only dispute I had, but it was pretty easily resolved. They wanted to ding me for, because you get dinged for extra mileage and all kinds of, so you really got to be careful. with. Maybe things have changed since I did this. This was years ago, like at least 15 years ago, I think, in that neighborhood. And they wanted to ding me uh, for tire wear or something silly. And I basically told them, look, if you ever want me to come back to this dealership, we're going to call this good. And it worked out all right. It worked out all right. They're always willing to ne to negotiate. Uh, we need lime. We're we're gonna do a we're gonna surprisingly do a lime contract. I think, yes, a lime contract. Field twenty five, which is right across the street from us, fourteen thousand three hundred and thirty nine dollar payoff minus. Uh, the lime, our time and gas, I guess, maybe wear and tear on the vehicle. Speaking of wear and tear on the vehicle. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. That's a considerable chunk of money right there. Let's get everything repaired. Let's just, let's get it over with. Bite the bullet. The old Voltra, I must have hit I must have hit a pole or something and five grand. Dang. 
Um, you know, I'm wondering in that regard. I'm wondering if if that repair bill is going to be a little bit heavy for us based on the mods we have running and the fact that I have stone field stones enabled, which I really just don't give a rat's fat behind about. And I'm pretty sure they caused significant damage or can cause significant damage to your uh, implements, if I remember correctly. All right. Lime, 350 for 2,000 liters. How much lime do we need for field 25? I guess I should just, we can start stockpiling some of this stuff because we're going to need it eventually. But let's just check it out for funsies. Uh, 25 lime is 21,336 liters. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Have I said wow enough now? <laughs> wow. Now, why would you buy this? 450 for 2000 350 for 2000 Why would you go with the 450 I don't know. I don't know why you would go with the 450 It doesn't... I, I'm not I'm not seeing sense to that. Um, we could buy it... Oh, man. 50 liters. Buy it by the bag. All right. Well, let's, let's stop farting around. See... Uh, seeds... Lime, how many bags can I buy? Eight at a time? What is that, 16,000? 16,000 liters, and that cost us... What? What is this options? An extra 2450. What is that? I've never really noticed that before. Why did we pay an extra $22,450 in options? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, oh, I guess I loaded the lime that we had left over already. Okay. We had a little smidge of lime left over from a previous contract. <clears throat> well, I hope you're all doing well. Happy Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday, by the way. I, for one, can verify that I am very happy it's Friday. I have my adult water beverage with me. I have my smoky treats with me. Uh, this is going to be a a um, a fun Friday, if all goes well. A simple fun Friday. Another day of losing money with Lime contracts. Actually, if you look at the better contracts mod, seven thousand. Wow, man, we're gonna be running back and forth. I'm glad the field's right here. I'm glad we're not going across the map to do this. If you look at the Better Contracts mod, oftentimes I've been looking, the Lime contracts are actually up there toward... Oh, hello. Sorry, sir. Almost hit you. The Lime contracts are oftentimes near the top of the money makers per hour. I'm not so sure the Better Contracts mod completely takes everything into account. But that's just me. So the field starts way over yonder. Let's, I thought so. Let's drive over yonder. And since we now own our tractor, and since we are leasing to own this um, spreader, we can use El GPSO. And that's exactly what we're going to do, is use El GPSO. No more guesswork when it comes to fertilizing contracts, which I am so happy about. Of course, this line would be very easy to see. But since I am what some may call a lazy farmer. Some may call me that. And others may call me a space cowboy. Uh, what is that? Uh, some may call me a space cowboy. A gangster of love. Some people may call me Maurice. Speaking of, Maurice, actually it's not Maurice, it's Marvin. Marvin Brook, thank you for your subscription, my friend. That's awesome. Really appreciate that, brother. So we're off to the races. Giddy up. Uh, let me uh, let me do one thing. Yeah. Let me turn them lights off so we can at least pretend like I know what I'm doing. We can kill those beacons. 
Oh, look at that beautiful lime. Boy, I tell you what, you forget when you use... <clears throat> when you're used to using precision far, um, far, precision farming, you lose perspective of how much it saves you on things, you know. Lime being one of them. It's amazing how much precision farming saves on lime. And then a quick reality comes... Um, smacks me in the face since we're not using precision farming that lime is lime there's a lot of lime that gets on these fields holy smokers so what all is happening we are busy little beavers on the discord server lately i don't want to get into too many details at this point and juncture Ooh, jackknife Needless to say, some exciting things. Oh, there's a tree there, Brad. Needless to say, some ex I think some exciting things come into the channel. I'm very excited, actually, about the future. I gotta wear shades. The future's so bright, I have to wear shades. I, I even heard, get this, I even heard from our home office, <clears throat> and they in a backhanded kind of way complimented me on the fact that the channel hasn't been shut down yet they didn't say that i was doing a good job they didn't say that things were going well they didn't say anything nice necessarily they just said something along the lines of hey you know we're kind of surprised the channel hasn't been shut down and i think that was their way of complimenting me i don't know i'm gonna take it as a compliment because normally the only things i ever hear from normally the only thing the only time i hear from the the rqs gaming conglomerated headquarters in walla walla washington is bad news you know um you know our, our the intern quit um Another lawsuit has been filed against the channel. Um, you know, stuff like that. But it was kind of nice to hear something that was fairly innocuous. <laughs> I guess that's the word I can use for it. Boy, we, we are... Um, there's going to be more time running back and forth filling this spreader than there is actually putting lime on the field, I think. That's all right. It's part of the job. It's part of the mission. But it is a good reminder, I think, to me at least, to not take a lime job up in the northern hemisphere of the map because the driving time alone is a death sentence. Unless, of course, we get a nice... <clears throat> maybe at some point we can purchase a, um, a tender... You know, something, I've got a couple of thoughts on that. Actually, the one thought that I have on that we can't use because it's not an in-game mod. Come to think of it, there's a... I, I'm sorry, I just wasn't looking. <laughs> there's a... <laughs> there's a fence there. <laughs> there's a um, there's a really nice seed tender that will do lime and stuff. Um, but it's, uh, it's one of the... Uh, what is that mess right there? Is that just a pile of rocks? Is that... Is that what that is? Lovely. Um, but it's it's a niche.io uh, dealio. And um, unfortunately not usable in our current situation. But I have noticed. And I, I question whether or not I should say this. But... I feel like I, I have noticed, I think Gen X Stoner has gracefully um, conceded and maybe lightened up a little bit with this particular Let's Play. He actually is not going to require a counter mod for the field lease mod. Which I feel like is is certainly generous. 
So I appreciate that, Gen X. I truly do. I don't know. I don't even know if we're going to use that field lease mod. I, It's one of those things where I think I'm just... Where we, we have to try it. We have to give it a go. Just to see, you know, how good or bad it is. And by good or bad, I don't mean like the quality of the mod, whether it's going to crash the game or what have you. But more like, how 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 does it really fit into uh, this Let's Play and, and does it make sense to do and stuff? But you know what? I'm all for trying new stuff. I really have to remind myself that I'm a creature of habit in a lot of ways. I hate to admit that. I never thought... I kind of really never thought I would be. But I kind of am. I have to, I think I have to finally admit that. And getting out of my comfort zone and trying new things, I would say for the most part, has worked out, has worked out pretty well. Occasionally you find something, you get a little bump in the road, but that's all right. That's part of learning, right? It's part of growing up, learning, learning through experience. So much be better than book work. Screw book learning. <laughs> All you kids out there, stay out of school. <laughs> Get on the streets and learn. <laughs> oh, it's just great. Now, there's something I'm going to hear from the old <laughs> from the old home office. Hey, Brad, we, uh, we noticed you're encouraging children to drop out of school and get street smarts. Yeah, we can't do that, man. We can't do that. I have no idea how much line we've used so far. Two trailer loads, right? I believe that's correct. Two trailer loads. So 14,000 liters we've used so far. Plus, I think like a, a little bit more. I think 500 liters maybe from the leftover we had. But I think that's right. I think we've ticked over that. So we bought eight bags, which is 16,000. There's no way that field is going to get done. Am, am I am I counting this wrong? We bought eight bags of lime. They're 2,000 liters each. That's eight times two is 16. That's 16,000 liters. And field calculator is telling us it's only going to take 21,000 liters. There's, it, it, there, it's not even close. Am I missing something? 21,000 liters, lime. And we are only, according to our friend up there, the contract hub, or HUD, we're only a quarter of the way done. Boy, I, I'm getting gypped. I'm getting gypped on this job. There's another 2,800 plus. I have no idea what this 2450 is. I, I'm guessing it's because we're buying them in multiples. They're charging us for that. I have no idea what that's all about. I'm not having them delivered. Do I have my stinking store delivery mod set up weird? Let me clear that. I don't think so. It's got to be because we're buying them in multiples. That's that's a man. We're getting ganked on that twenty four hundred dollars. All right, third trailer load. We've put down fourteen thousand liters already, and if the field calculator mod is at all close. That means that this trailer load should com complete it. Are darn close to completing it? Man, I am not buying what it's throwing down. I am not buying what it's throwing down at all. Twenty eight percent done.
Yep, it loops around, and that's all part of the field over there. Yeah, something ain't right. Something taint right. Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I know what I'm going to do. Adult beverage? Uh, no, no, no. Adult smoke and treat. That's what I'm going to do. So, um, we got these new toolkits. We got these new toolkits at work. And they are from iFixit. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with iFixit or not. I'm sure TBG, I would definitely believe you would be familiar with iFixit. But uh, I fix it basically, you know, it's one of those sites where you can go to and they, it used to be primarily, if not entirely, uh, I believe electronics based, like computer repairs. I think they've gone well beyond that now. I haven't been out to their site in quite a while. But it was community, it was partially uh, community, um, uh, what do they call that? Um, community... Uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called. Like Wikipedia. People in the community will, will add their own step-by-steps on how to repair things. It had great step-by-step -step guides. Excellent. And they were rated, you know, easy, moderate, hard, blah, blah, blah. And it's a fantastic site. At least it used to be. I'm sure it probably still is. But, um absolutely fantastic for do-it-yourself uh, repairs. You could save yourself a ton of money if you were willing and had the cojones to um, open. That's just wonderful. That's our third trailer load, so that's 21,000 liters. We are at 40%. Are we, are we going to actually make money? <laughs> On this or is this going to be a neg this is gonna be a negative it has to be a negative return I'm just you know what dude oh that's a, that's a girl sorry you know what girl <laughs> you're gonna get run over um what was I talking about I fix it oh cuz we got their toolkits yeah 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 hit that bag and uh, they're not cheap. I think they're. I think it's like an eighty-dollar kit. I believe is about what they run. But what a difference between the quality of those screwdriver bits compared to the, I would say, uh more or less generic toolkits that you can get. It's It actually is impressive how much of a difference there is in the quality. We had $25 toolkits and the bits were breaking. <laughs> the bits were breaking on the toolkits. And <laughs> yes, I'm going to hit that fence every time I leave. I keep looking up I keep looking up and over, and it blends in just enough, I guess, for me that I just forget it's there. Um, so I would say the toolkits for my fix it are what? At, we'll say three times the cost. Wow. Those are large, what we call in the business, large, large field stones or very old potatoes. So for three times the money, but you can tell like straight away that, um, that, that you're not messing around with junk anymore. But yeah, the bits on the old ones, 
the bits on the old ones used to they would just you'd be using them you'd be taking off a, a back cover of a laptop and you just it would they would just snap and just break off and then you would look at the warranty <laughs> and you realize that the time and effort that it's going to take to warranty out the broken bits, if they even accept them as a warrantied item, is so not worth it. It's so totally not worth it. So then you're just, you're, you're screwed. You've got basically your, you know, because we use a lot of Torx bits, a lot of T8s. T6s, even sometimes even smaller. We use different size Phillips. And uh, is this our fourth load? Man, I am getting so ganked on this job, man. I think I think the farmer laughed, was laughing at me when I took this job. I thought I said something funny, but now that I'm looking back on it, I think they were laughing at me, not with me. <laughs> I think that's the main difference I can take away <laughs> from that encounter. You know when you're being laughed at and not with? Yeah, I think that was the case. So we started, what, about 60, 65 grand after repairs? I think we're around 65. So we've spent $7,000 on Lime so far, basically. I'm just going generalized here. We might make, what, two grand out of this out of this deal? Yeah, what a ripoff. Oh, well. Maybe this is a field we should consider leasing. <laughs> but if we're going to lease... If we're going to lease, then I I guess I'm thinking if we're going to lease, I think we should focus on leasing fields that are closer to, to harvest. I, I, that's, I'm trying to wrap my brain around the best way to take advantage of this leasing business. And then to, it seems super cheaty though, right? Because let's just say, for instance, man, let's say field 19. Well, that's a bad example. Field 25, the one we're working on. We lease that. Lease farmland. Well, farmland nine. Okay. Whoa, $50,000. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's a little uglier than I thought it was going to be. How much to buy the, the stinking thing? You don't have enough money. Well, I'm glad I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad we didn't have enough money cuz I think it was going <laughs> to I think it was going to insto sell. Farmland field 25 plot. Oh, that's half a million. Holy smokes. But let's say we lease it for 50 grand. Boy, man, 50 grand off the top and then two grand a day. Yeah, oh, you better be making some serious coin from the crops that you're harvesting from that field, I guess. Especially at this juncture in the game when we would basically have to lease. We would basically have to lease a heart, a combine, a header. Yeah, boy. Can I, do I need to buy another, you know what? Yeah, we're, that's, yeah, we're going to buy, yeah. We're going to buy another eight bags. I'm in it now. I'm in it deep. We can always use it for another lime ripoff job, I guess. I'm pretty sure this is the fifth cart. I'm pretty sure, right? Wow. 
51% contract complete. Well, never said it was going to be easy. Where are you going, my friend? Oh, you're going down that way? That's not... Oh, I see what I did. I want you to go this way for me. We can scooch back and hit that if need be. That looks like it lined up quite lovely. Yeah. That did line up quite lovely. Well, live and learn. It is what it is. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. <laughs> I don't know what other, what other cliches I can use. I, um... I got into, recently, some Alfred Hitchcock flicks. I started uh, an Alfred Hitchcock film uh, party, I guess, more or less. I own, I think, six of his films, I believe. And... I've been I've really been enjoying them. I've been enjoying uh, watching some older movies. I've been in that older movie um, mode lately. Movies from like older movies from like the the forties and the fifties, even up into the sixties just been i don't know it's been kind of fun watching them they're they're a different style you have to you kind of have to prepare yourself for how different they really are compared to today's feature films and i know a lot of people will say like oh actors didn't act as good back then as they do today cuz you get that sense that just the general quality of acting and different things i've i've heard just wasn't as good but I think it's not really necessarily so much that as it is you know just the how raw films were back then you know no CGI go ahead buddy take your time you know all that fancy schmancy stuff just wasn't around so you're you're just it's 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 kind of interesting. I've been watching a lot of um, Mystery Science Theater 3000 too. They've they've been um, for the past like I think since maybe the turn of the year or maybe even it was before then. At least it was around New Year's when I noticed it. They've been running a lot of uh, marathons on YouTube, and. Um, I've been watching a lot of mystery science theater lately. It's quite fun. It's easy to fall asleep to, too. If, you, if you're that kind of person who likes to uh, crash with the TV on. Which is probably not the healthiest thing for me to do, but I'm so used to it now. So I turn on the old mystery science theater, whatever marathon they're running at the time. And I've and, uh, been really enjoying that. I didn't watch Mystery Science Theater a lot. Um, whoa, Brad, whoa. Let's not, get, let's not get crazy. I didn't watch Mystery Science Theater a whole lot during its, I guess, initial running several seasons that it was on. Then I started getting into it when, it, when they released it on Netflix. They released a brand new season on Netflix. Um... I guess, boy, what would that be? Three, three, four years ago now? And I really, really enjoyed that season. And then they came out with a second season, which I was pretty pumped about. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and I'm like, yeah, this is good stuff. But then it got canceled. Off of Netflix. Then they decided to do, I guess, a crowdsource... crowdsourced season 
And I guess that went really well. I didn't do that one. I might go back and try and get that, but I didn't do that one. And then they're they're I think they're I think they're on their second, maybe even their third, um, crowdsourced season. So they're still quite popular. Enough people to definitely pay the bills, I guess. But I'm also a Rift Tracks fan. If you don't know about Rift Tracks, basically the same concept. Only you don't have people in the front row watching the movie. You just got dudes talking. I watched... Um, Rift Tracks has this deal. They have an app where you can, um, you can buy... I guess what they call just buy the jokes. You can buy just the jokes for a movie that you already own. Or maybe it's a movie you are going to rent or what have you. We're going to go ahead and grab. We're going to load up one more time since we're right here. And the app syncs up with your television. With the audio from your television. So that you've got... So instead of buying the whole project, because if you go to their site, you can buy the movie with the jokes. And it's usually a little, you know, more expensive that way. But if you already own the movie or if you want to rent the movie, you buy just the jokes. Well, I did that with um, um, Paranormal Activity. <laughs> the movie Paranormal Activity. You're probably familiar with what, that one. You know, the one where it's basically, you know, it's another one of these found footage movies. With uh, Mika, some dude named Mika, some loser, <laughs> some loser named Mika. <laughs> uh, and I forget the girl's name now. It'll come to me maybe. But anyways, she's got some, you know, otherworldly demon following her, I guess, since she was a child. And um, anyways, so I sat down the other day because I've seen the movie just you know just watching the movie and it's kind of creepy it's kind of creepy i'm a, i'm a, i'm the uh we're gonna do this we're gonna wait until we're gonna wait for full runs to try to get the biggest bang up <laughs> for our buck on this field i'm not gonna try to nitpick little areas yet until we absolutely have to but it's kind of a creepy movie but watching it with them <laughs> doing their their jokes gives an entirely different experience uh, to the movie. It's it is it's 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 pretty pretty funny. So if you are afraid or have a tendency to be unnerved by paranormal movies, movies that involve you know, demons and exorcism or what have you. Maybe, maybe try watching it with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with riff tracks. And I think you'll find the experience to be significantly different. So I'm, I'm assuming this is our eighth. I think this is our eighth load. Eight times seven is what? 56. 56,000 liters, is that right? How could the field lease calculator be so wrong? Uh, it's got to be me. I've got to be I've got to be looking at this wrong. Uh-oh. Oh, needs lime. Okay. So basically, we're left to this splotch here. Yeah, we're going to have to bite the bullet and just start. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a second, Brad. Wait a darn second. Look what I've been. Really? 
That's gotta be... That's gotta be why. You idiot! You idiot! <laughs> See? That's gotta be why. It's gotta be. I thought about this, too. The last time... You know that, that fertilizing contract that I horribly failed on at the end of December... I think it was the end of December or was it November? Sorry, end of November. I, it didn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, it didn't, it didn't. So I went back and I remember thinking, aha, I forgot to maximize the spreader. That's why, you know, things were acting kind of weird with how much it was laying down and whatnot. And I, meant to go back and set that to the full spread value and I am almost positive that is why this is taking so much lime now you may argue you might be saying but Brad my friend Brad well maybe you left the friend out but hey Brad I don't know buddy when you shrink down the spread lit width doesn't it all work out because you're putting down less? Well, I beg to differ. I don't think the game does a very good job with that. I think the game <laughs> I think the game puts down the same amount of lime or fertilizer regardless of your spread width. I think that that is a visual only effect. And I think I tested that one time and found it to be sadly true. What can we get away with here? Can we get away with... You know... It's, it's sad. It's sad. Sometimes it's sad being me. Sometimes, sometimes it's just sad. It's gotta be sad for you guys to watch things like that. I'm just so sorry. You know, I, I'm sorry I disappoint you. I really am. I'm your... I'm your host. If I can say that, I'm your host. It'd be like if you came to my house for dinner. And you had to bring the food. You know, it's 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 disappointing, right? Hey, you're all invited over to my house this Friday for an amazing dinner. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, just make sure you bring, you know, bring your own food. <laughs> that's That's how I feel sometimes. I let you down. That's stinking why we're using six times. That is exactly why we're using six times the amount of lime. Well, you know what? It is what it is. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to re-record and pretend like this never happened. I don't think that's fair. I think you should see failure in its, <laughs> I think you should witness failure in its rawest form. <laughs> Control C. <laughs> you know what? If my, if my. If that is true, because I believe that's true, set to that, it'll put down the same as that. The width doesn't matter. It's visual. In fact, it hurts you more than helps you. Watch this. Watch this. See the counter? I know it's a little bit sketchy to do it this way, but that counter is not slowing down at all. Oh, of course, I'm driving <laughs> all over the place, but that counter does not slow down. All it does is make is, is it takes me longer to get a field done. It uses more lime. Oh, and we're done. Well, thank goodness that torture has completed. 
this is my favorite part of of the contract is when you can look around and see those black spots and then magically you can go in and say hey i did a great job so i earned my money complete it they all go away and we made i think we made three thousand dollars <laughs> Maybe more, maybe a little more, maybe four grand. I'm going to be generous and say we made $4,000 because we do have lime left over. Maybe we've got a couple grand worth. Uh, no, we don't. Are you, who are you kidding, Brad? You might have $1,000 worth of lime left. All right. Well, let me, before I say goodbye, let me stink and set this spreader to the full amount so I don't forget to do that again. Unbelievable. And let's go ahead and fill this puppy up. I don't know what our next task is going to be. I feel like we should try. I know that there. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of other lime contracts. Here. Oh, yes, there are. Can we add any more? No, we can't add any more. We might tackle. Uh, but isn't field 46 way on the north end? Forty-seven, forty-five, forty-five's right there. Forty-eight. Um, did I just miss it? There it is. Oh, that's not too bad. We might tackle forty-six, just for for scientific purposes, with a full spread on the spreader, and see how close we get to what field calculator says it's supposed to be. I think we'll be a lot closer because I think I, I screwed up with that with that spread. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for putting up with me. Um, Yeah, but we'll be back. Uh, I might try something this weekend. I'm going to play some ATS this weekend. I've got like a 1,200 mile drive I need to do. I think it's from like, uh, what is it? From like Colorado over to the Northwest, uh, something like that. Maybe I'll bring you all along for some of that. You all take care of yourselves. Have an amazing Friday. Have a great weekend if I don't see you. Thanks again so much for all your support, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, your memberships. Check out our Discord channel. Um, it's actually starting to feel a little bit more like it's, you know, getting some life breathed into it. I kind of felt like it was on life support. Now I'm feeling like a little more energy about it. And I might even show up on the fourth day in a row and set another world's record. You never know. But you all take care of yourselves. Thanks again. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.